It's the day we've all been waiting for. Game day in Mount Pleasant, Michigan. Welcome everybody to the Evanston College Raging Eagles Dynasty. Opening day is finally here, and the Eagles are going to be taking on the Central Michigan Chippewas in the first inaugural game. With all that being said, let's get the season officially started. Patrick Hills is back deep to return. He's going to take a pass out of the 20, 25. He's going to get tackled for a nice 26-yard return. The trip walls are going to line up two in the backfield. And Josh Stewart is going to get stuffed to lose a yard on the play. The trip walls are going to be forced to throw it. And he's going to drop back. It's a screen. The Eagles are all over it. No chance. They're going to be forced to punt the ball. This is me, our first look at the offense. It's going to be a handoff to Tate Dunn for about three or four yards. After the little run there, looks like they're going to hand it off again to Tate Dunn. He's going to get more than four. He's going to get a first down and about eight yards on this play. After a run that went nowhere, we finally decided to throw the ball. Tom McClellan, the starting quarterback, he's going to drop back, chuck it over the middle. Betty Hargrove wide open over the middle. It's going to be a nice six-yard reception. And that's going to bring it to about third and four. Tom McClellan is going to probably have to throw it again. He's going to drop back in the pocket. Look, and it is dropped by Tate Dunn. Would have been a first down, but he just blatantly dropped it. And after an eagle punt, James Denman and, and the Chippewa offenses are going to come back out. Looking to do better than what they did on their last drive. It's going to be handoff to Josh Stewart. He's going to pick up about six or seven on the play. And after the Chippewas move the chains after a four-yard rush, James Edmondson is going to line up under center with a man in motion. And it's going to be handoff to Josh Stewart. He's going to make a man miss, break a tackle, keep on fighting, not go down very easily. And he's going to pick up 15 or 16 yards on the play. And James Edmondson is going to line up with running back to his right. He's going to hand off. He's going to go to the left side. And Josh Stewart is just going to keep on running all over us. And after the nice run by Josh Stewart, he's going to line up and it appears that they're going to be running the ball again on another first down man in motion. And no, he's going to drop back and throw it. James Denman completed over the middle. And after a nice reception by Josh Stewart, James Denman, he's going to drop back, look, and he's going to fire to Patrick Hill. It's completed. He's going to get a nice sum of yards. And it looks like we have an injured eagle. And after that, James Denman is going to line up directly under center. Hand it up. No, it's a play action pass. He's going to look over. Orlando Marcus, he's going to break a tackle. Keep on fighting, but not quite get the first down. James Denman is going to line up under the center once again, and there's going to be a man in motion, and still in motion. He's going to hand off to Josh Stewart. He's going to get stuffed. It's going to bring it to third and one. Good play by the Eagles defense. Josh Denman under center once again. Hand off to Jerry Johnson for four yards. And Josh Stewart is out with a Bruce Sternum right around the five-yard line. So Josh Edmond is going to line up on their center. Fire. Aaron Brooks. Touchdown, Chippewas. And they're going to take a touchdown lead. And after the Aaron Brooks touchdown, the Eagles really need to find a way to get back in this. And Jared Chance, he's going to take the jet sweep. He's going to keep on running. He's going to break a tackle, and he's going to get about five or six yards on the play. The Eagles offense really needs to get something going. And Tom McClellan, he's going to run a play action here. He's going to look, look, and he's going to fire. It is intercepted. Prince Wilson jumping the ball perfectly, getting an amazing read on it, and just it looked like it was underthrown a little bit from Tom. We'll see here once again. And he had just underthrown and perfectly jumped. Turnover, chip wall ball. And after the interception, the Chippewa offense is ready to come out, score another touchdown, put some more points on the board. And Josh Stewart is going to break a tackle. He's going to keep on running. It's going to get nine yards after a just broken tackle at the start of it.
And after a nice run by Josh Stewart, it's going to be second and one, and they're going to hand it off again to Josh Stewart. He's going to make a man miss. He's going to cut back, but he cut back a little too far. Going to lose some yards, bring it to third and four. Man, James Denman is going to line up directly under center. He's going to drive back. He's going to look. He's going to fire over to Drew Anderson. It's going to be a nice catch. He's going to give him the chip ball to a brand new first down. If the Eagles want a chance to win this game, they have to make a stop. James Denman is going to receive the snap, hand it off to Josh Stewart, who's going to break a tackle and keep on going for about 10 yards. James Denman leaving a very, very impressive drive, and he's going to fake the handoff. He's going to look. He's going to find John Brown. He's going to break a tackle. Touchdown, Chippewas, and they're going to take a two-touchdown lead. And after the Central Michigan touchdown, Tom McClellan is going to hand it off to Tate Dunn, who's going to find a gap. He's going to get tripped up after like a 16 or 17-yard rush. And Tom McClellan, who's going to make some changes at the line of scrimmage, flipping some things around, getting everything in order, make sure his troops are ready to go. And it looks like Cherod Chance is going to be the man in motion. And it's going to be a jet sweep to the right side, Cherod Chance. Who's going to pick up a big block to the 40, 30, 25? And he's going to get tackled at around the 20, 22 yard line with an amazing. And after a nice run by Cherod Chance, Tom McClellan is looking to pass. He's going to drop back. He's going to look over the middle. It is deflected. And after the incompletion by Tom McClellan, he's going to drop back in the pocket. He's going to wait. He's going to wait. He's going to fire over the Cherrod Chance. He's going to be completed. And he's going to be brought out of bounds at about the two or three yard line. And after a nice pass to Cherrod Chance, Tom McClellan is going to have a read option. And he's going to get in. Touchdown, Evanston. And after an Evanston touchdown, Sammy's going to go right back to him. And it's a long ball. And it is almost intercepted. James Denman almost made his first mistake of the season. And after the incompletion, James Denman is going to drop back, and he will be sacked this time. And after the punt, it's going to be Evanston ball once again. This time it's going to be handoff to Tate Dunn, who's going to find a gap up in the middle. He's going to gain about eight yards on the play. And after a nice rush by Tate Dunn, Tom McClellan, he's going to drop back, and he appears he's going to scramble, and he's going to pick up about seven yards. After a nice scramble by Tom McClellan, looks like they're going to bring Benny Hardrob in motion and they're going to throw it over the middle to Drew Snyder for a 15 or 16 yard reception. It's going to be a read option by Tom McClellan. He's just going to keep it and pick up about three yards. And it's going to be another read option. This time it's a triple option and this one goes nowhere yet stuffed. And after an Evanston field goal, the Chippewa offense is back out there with 3.30 to go on the clock. And James Denman's going to hand off to Josh Stewart. And he's just going to get leveled after a gain of three. And James Denman is going to line up directly under center. And he's going to drop back. Look, and he's going to fire over to Patrick Hills, who's going to bring up like a 15 or 14 yard reception. Josh Stewart is going to line up directly to the right of James Denman. And it's going to be a fake handoff. And it's going to go over to Drew Anderson, who's going to make a man miss and get tackled at around the 37 yard line for a 14 yard reception. And this time, Josh Stewart's going to line up to the left side of James Denman. He's going to take the snap, drop back, and he's going to have all day in the pocket. He's going to fire over to Patrick Hills, and it looks like it's made about a 20-yard reception. And James Denman's going to line up directly in the center. He's going to give us some time, maybe draw an offside or encroachment or something. Still waiting, and finally the snap is going to be off to Jeremy Johnson for a 5-yard. It's going to bring in the third inches. And a big third down here for Central, see what they can do. James Denman's going to drop back, he's going to fire, and then it's going to be tipped last second by Markello Bradley. And after the touchdown field goal, it's going to be seeing you up by a whole touchdown. And to start off this one half minute drill, Benny Hargrove is going to get a huge reception over the middle. And as the first half is coming to a quick close, Evanson's trying to put some more points on the board. As Tom McClellan's going to drop back, he's going to fire and find Dre Snyder over the middle. He's trying to race, and he will make it to about the 25 yard line with a nice reception. And after a nice little rush there, Tom McClellan's going to drop back. He's going to look. He's going to fire over the middle to Stuart Stokes. That's going to move the chains for a first and goal with 30 seconds left on the clock, and they're going to have to call hurry up here. Let's see what the Evanson Raging Eagles can do right before the half ends. Can they tie it up? I don't know yet. We'll have to wait and find out. Looks like Tom McClellan's changing some plays. It's going to be a triple option, and he's going to get stuffed. The Eagles are going to have to call a timeout. 
with 23 seconds left to go to it. Tom McCown can do. He's gonna look and he's gonna fire. Stewart Stokes with an eight yard receiving touchdown. And that's gonna tie up the game with 20 seconds left to go in the first half. Let's see what the Triple Wilds can do in 15 seconds. Denman Greklander is going to hand off to Josh Stewart, who's going to break a tackle and stumble on a defensive lineman. He's going to take it down after a gain of seven. It's going to be a little bit hurry up here. James Denman is going to receive the snap. He's going to drop back. And it's going to be a fired incomplete pass. It's going to bring it to third down for the final play of the first half. Let's see what James Denman has. And he's going to get sacked to end out the first half. After a very exciting first half or two, the second half has to offer us. It's going to be Tom McClellan keeping on the read option. going to make a move to the outside. He's going to run into his own blocker and get tackled after about a 13-yard gain. And after a nice Tom McClellan run and see what he does, he fakes a handoff to Josh Stewart. Then a drop back. He's going to look, and Benny Hargrove just drops a wide-open pass. And Tom McClellan is going to... Receive the snap. He's gonna draw back in a scramble. He's gonna throw as he gets hit, and Chad Chance is gonna haul it in with an amazing catch. If you look at this again, Chad Chance is gonna get an amazing route, runs right in front of him. And as for that nice play, let's see how the Eagles can respond to that. And as we look like it's definitely gonna be a fake jet sweep to Chad Chance. Tom McKellen's gonna get some good blocking downfield. He's gonna pick up about 60 or 17 on the play. And Jonathan McGee is going to be the backup quarterback as Tom's little shaken up. He's going to keep it on the read option. He's going to get about the two or three yard line. Nice run by the backup. Let's see here what the Eagles are going to do on first and goal. And they're just going to punch it in with Tate Dunn to give them the first lead of the entire game. And team is going to take over. And they're going to hand it off back to Josh Stewart. He's going to break a tackle. And he's going to go. He keeps on going. He's made one man miss. And he's off to the race. He tackled about the 36-yard line. An amazing rush for Josh Stewart. If, let's just look at that one more time. Breaks a tackle. And then some dude just misses. Just dives way too early. And he just keeps on going. Keeps on going. And it's hard to bring him down. James Dunman's going to line him up under center. He's going to drop it. He's going to quickly fire. That's over to John Brown for a 16-yard reception. And James Dunman under center once again. He's, this time it's going to be a handoff to Josh Stewart. He's going to try and cut to the outside. He just won't make it there. He's going to lose two yards on the play. And James Dunman needs to work up some magic on third down here. It's going to be a screen, and it's going to be covered. Nowhere to go. They're going to lose another yard. They're going to just set off for a field goal. McClellan gonna take a quick snap here and he's just gonna scramble and he's gonna pick up a first down in a little bit more than 10 yards and McClellan looking to run the triple option here let's see how he can run it and got the first read right and, he, and there's a hole right there he's gonna get another 10 yards for another rush and after another first down from Tom McClellan he's gonna pass it he's gonna look he's gonna scramble and he makes something happen to Cherod Chance. It's a nice six-yard pass. And Tom McKellen, he's looking at the play, looking what the defense is running. He's going to drop back. He's looking. And he slings it, and he just overthrows it. Pat, I don't know what the pass was intended for, and that's going to force him to punt. And Chippewa ball now as James Denman makes an adjustment. He's going to drop back. He's going to look, and he's going to throw a check down. Who's going to make a man miss, brick a tackle, and he's going to only gain about six on the reception. And James Denman back with Josh Stewart to the left, and he's going to fake the handoff and throw it downfield for Drew Anderson for a first down. And Josh Stewart lined him to the left of him once again. It's a read option. He reads it perfectly. But Denman is going to be wrapped up in just short of the first down. And he's not going to pick it up. And it's going to be an eagle ball once again. It's going to be a triple option. But there's nowhere to go. And Tom McKellen is going to lose one yard. And Tom McKellen is going to line up all along the backfield. He's going to drop back. Look, and he's going to have to run out of the pocket. He's going to throw and it's just overthrown. So following the eagle punt, it's going to be a run chip while ball, and Josh Stewart's going to get stuffed in the backfield. So after a three-yard rush, we're going to a third and nine, and Denna's going to drop back in the pocket, and it's going to be a screen, and there's going to be a missed tackle, and he's going to get a huge play. Josh Stewart over a 27-yard reception, and he just broke free right there. And with a brand new first down, Josh Stewart's going to line up directly in the center, he's going to drop back, he's going to fire, and it's going to be tipped by Tremaine Hayden. Josh Stewart with a quick drop back. And he's going to look, he's going to fire it over to Drew Anderson, who's not going to quite pick up the first down. And Josh Stewart is going to lose yards. That's going to end up the third quarter. 
and the Chippewas are going to go for it here on fourth down. Gutsy move. And they're going to go up the middle. Josh Stewart, and he's going to get stuffed. It's going to be turnover on down. And Tom with a read option is going to call his own number here. And he's going to find a gap, and he's going to get about to second and one. Tom looks like it's going to be a handoff right up the middle of the tight end. He's going to run over a guy and get a first down. And it looks like they're going to throw it here. Tom's going to step back. He's going to scramble. He sees a little hole, and he's going to slide forward for a first down. It's going to be a triple option here. And Tom's going to find a hole. He doesn't have the speed. But he's going to try get as far as he can before he gets chased down for a 39-yard rushing attack. And Jonathan McGee's back out here. Thomas got shaken up on the last play once again. He's going to scramble. He's going to chuck it with his drop by Benny Hargrove once again. And Jonathan's still going to be out here. going to be a read option. And he's going to run right into his own offensive lineman. And he's only going to get three yards on the play. And Jonathan's going to drop back. He's going to look and he's going to find Dre Snyder for a two-yard receiving touchdown. And the Chippewas are going to take over their need of a score or something. And John Brown's going to catch and break a tackle for a nice 19 or 20-yard gain right there. And James Demon's gonna run some play action over to Patrick Hills, and he's gonna get just short of a first down. Quick handoff to Josh Stewart's gonna find a hole right up the middle, and he's gonna get an easy first down. And James Demon's gonna drop back, he's gonna look, and he's gonna fire over to Patrick Hills. He's gonna shrug off the tackle, and that's gonna bring in a third and four. A big third down for the Chip Wazzle, and you're gonna have it at Jeremy Johnson, who's only gonna pick up one yard. And it's going to be a huge fourth down here for the Chippewas. And handoff to Josh Stewart's going to find a seam in the outside. He's going to get a huge fourth down. And with a nice fourth down on there, James Dem is going to drop. I'm going to fire for four-yard reception of Patrick Hills to make it third and three. And a big third down here, and they're just going to hand it off to the fullback, and he's going to pick it up very easily. First and goal here for the Chip Boss, and they're going to hand it off to Jeremy Johnson, who's going to spin and tumble forward for a touchdown. And it's, the Chip Boss have brought it to a very close game, and it looks like they're going to go for two here. And it's going to be a handoff to Josh Rose, he's going to get stuffed at the goal line. No good. Second and nine here, McClellan's going to dump it off to Tate Dunn on a screen pass, and he's not going to pick up the first down, third and inches. Big third down here, McClellan's going to make some adjustments to the line, he's going to fire, and Stewart stoked with a nice reception and give him the first down. Big snap here from McClellan, he's going to drop back, another screen pass to Tate Dunn, this time it gets covered up and they're going to lose three yards. And second and 13 here, McClellan going to keep it on the read option. And he has a little cap, and he gets a huge hole. McClellan off to the races, and he's going to go all the way. Touchdown, Evanston. Chippewas need something really big here. And it looks like there's going to be a man in motion. James Simmons going to drop back in the pocket. He's going to barely get it off, but it's going to be completed to Drew Anderson for a first down. And we're on the hurry up here. James Simmons drop back once again over to Josh Stewart for a little eight-yard reception and some more hurry up. They want to get the ball moving. They don't have much time to waste here. And it appears it's just going to be a little spike. Then they're going to drop back in the pocket. The pass rush coming in. The pass gets tipped out of his hand. A near fumble. It's going to be fourth and two. Denman would screw to his resume to read option. And Denman's going to make a man miss. And he's going to pick up a huge first down. Chippewas are going to call some hurry up here. And it'll look, oh, no, they're actually going to go for it instead of spiking it here. The clock is ticking. Denman, he's going to step back. He's going to fire over to Patrick Hills, who's going to make a man miss. Cuts in and out and make another man miss. And that is going to be a huge play, and they're still going to call hurry up. 46 seconds left, and they're down by 12. And it appears this one will be a spike. And Dan Swimming, yes, it is a spike. Denman going to drop back. He's going to stop, and he's going to throw. He's going to be incomplete straight through the field goal post. 
and it's going to be third and ten here. Deming going to drop back. He's going to look. He's going to fire. And it is nearly intercepted. And Rashawn Hades is the one to drop it. Fourth and ten. And Deming going to fire. He's going to throw back of the end zone. Drew Anderson with an 18-yard. Nice, beautiful touchdown catch. The booth is going to end up reviewing it to see if he had both or won't. It tells it's only one foot. So we see one foot and possession of the ball to be a touchdown. And yes, he does. He drags. That's legal in the NFL, too. He had possession. It was a great catch. Way to bring it down. The play should stand. And it does. And the hands team is going to be on the field for this onside kick. They weren't ready. They have to bring the audible in. So let's see how they're going to do here. If It'd be a huge, huge different ball game if they didn't. And they got it. The Evanston Eagles are going to win. Their first ever game in program history. In the first game of the season, what a way to open up the season. What an amazing game they played. Their defense was came up whenever they needed to do anything good. And um, their offense was just thorough throughout. Here are some of the stats. Uh, okay, Jonathan McGee, he had not too bad stats. And then Tom McClellan, not the average passing stats you'd expect from a quarterback. But look at these rushing yards, 176. Average 11 per carry. And then our wide receivers, not too bad. Very underperformed. But Cherod Chance is the leading. And then Antonio McNair with 11 tackles. And then Rich Easley with two sacks. Not too bad. I'm very impressed with the way this turned out. Some recruits. Just some of your, these are just the positions we need. Not the Anthony Watkins is the one I want, though.